I'll go down below my file tree and I'll put paste this in my buffer line and I'll get out of here and I'm just going to quit Vim and reload it in order to install that. You see how there's tabs now at the top and it's keeping track of all of these. So now you can easily tell like I want to go to the previous one or the next one and you can see them there. So this is another key component of using NeoVim as an IDE. I need to add a few key maps that I use to get around buffers. I do leader N, P, and X, which copies the Tmux way of working with its panes. Leader N will go to the next one, leader P will go to the previous one, and leader X will close that buffer. And now I can just press space P, space N to hop between those. If I want to close this, I press space X, and this will let me work like really fast with my stuff hopping around as I need to. That's in addition to what we've already installed with our telescope, where I can just kind of open, open up stuff this way, and um, just let me work really fast. 